Hey everyone, it's Baron from Tech Interactive, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to add a configurable product. Let's go to our Manage Products page and then click on Add Product, and then it's gonna bring us the um, Create Product Settings page. And from here, we're gonna choose Configurable Product, and we're gonna choose an attribute set. In this case, I'm choosing t shirts. And then click continue which is gonna start our configurable product right here we are gonna have four options for this attribute set we have color size size of shoes and manufacturer in this case I'm gonna be adding um, color configuration for the products under this category okay so um, what we wanna do here is that let's assume you're selling videos on your web page and let's say you have high definition um, quality and you have a normal quality so in this case you might want to charge more for the high definition uh, so you would you would choose this configurable product and then create a category for itself and then add these um, different um, options and then you can charge more or if you're selling t-shirts I'm just gonna give you an example maybe this is not gonna make any sense uh, but you, you're gonna understand it if if you're selling t-shirts you might wanna charge um, different colors different prices but you don't wanna just deal with it every single time to change uh, the um, configuration so that this is gonna list all the products and list all the configurations you can choose so that it's gonna be easier for you if you're gonna provide different options for different prices so let's start with this test t-shirt um, and then I'm just gonna copy paste this for the necessary parts uh, we did this bunch of times so I'm just skipping it fast so make sure you just enable your product and then choose your visibility and then I'm just gonna just just so you understand I'm gonna click save now so that it's gonna show up which parts we have to fill alright so we missed price so let's just say twenty dollars is the regular t-shirt and then we gotta choose the tax uh, for now it's none I'm gonna be talking over this in later tutorials alright so if we click save it's gonna let us save it but don't 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 forget because if you do it's the product is not gonna show up on your page you gotta change the quantity and um, the category options for that so you gotta make it um, stock availability you gotta choose in stock and then you gotta choose the web page it's gonna be under and then you have to choose a category to be able to see your product okay so um, we changed all the options to um, make the product visible on the web page uh, normally it should be visible under um, shoes category in our web page but um, since it's a configurable product when you first create it since it doesn't have any products under it it's not gonna be visible on the web page so what you have to go do is go to your products page which um, you're gonna see the product you created which is a configurable product over here you gotta click on top of it and add products under it so that it can become visible on the web page and if you click on it after saving it it is gonna bring you this list where you can it's the same list but at the end you're gonna see associated products so if you click on this after saving it this menu is gonna show up and it's gonna be filled in so this is um consider this as an easy management for to create products with um, configurable options so the weight is gonna be um, just a random number for now the status we're gonna enable uh, visibility it's gonna be catalog and search so we added color we chose the um, color option to be the configurable part of this product so what we can do is we can do let's say we have 20 t-shirts the same t-shirt in black we just have 20 of them and let's assume printing on black is a little bit more expensive so let's say if if they choose 
black it's gonna be two dollars more so you can just go ahead and quick create your product under your t-shirt um, configurable category so what this did is it just duplicated everything that was related to your product and then added a black option so this option is gonna be twenty two dollars when the product is twenty dollars so let's um, add another um, color let's say blue but let's say the price is gonna be the same if, if they purchase blue and we quick create it here it is so blue is twenty dollars black is twenty two dollars as i said you can um, use this um, structure for any other product i'm just giving you an example of t-shirt you can use it over videos or whichever if you wanna have a better control better coloring options um, different options based on currency or not so let's just save this and go back to our web page um, you can actually let me um, click on the product and let me um, you can just after you save your product you can go to the product page and you can choose to add images for that product as we did in our previous tutorials I showed you how to add the pictures and everything so I'm not gonna go ahead I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go ahead and open the web page and then refresh this page and try to find our product here it is test t-shirt our t-shirt products under shoes category um, when we click on top it is gonna take us to this page it says t-shirts are twenty dollars but if you choose black it's gonna be two dollars more if you choose blue it's gonna be the same color if you don't choose anything and try to purchase the product it's gonna force you into choosing one of these and then you can just go ahead and add it to your cart and everything so this is nice and easy if you want more control over products as I told you before you you can manually change add this manually to any product but if you use it this way if you create a configurable product it is gonna be way easier and faster alright so we came to the end of this video once again it's Baron from Attack Interactive and thank you for watching this video